need to have the children to understand how important it is to be curious about the food, about trying, about tasting, and not to stuck to what the thing is good and what the thing is actually disgusting. So. Oh, that's not lemon. But that's not lemon. That is. <laughs> So this afternoon was uh, actually very interesting and I love working with Chef's Adopter School with a fantastic uh, association which is part of the Royal Academy of Culinary Arts. We taste all over our tongue, all over, and it gets very confusing because all the taste crosses over. Uh, what is interesting is because the reaction of the children when they try to test uh, acidity or bitterness and it was very interesting to see the reaction also about the salty. Some were thinking that the sweet corn was not uh, uh, salty enough and some were thinking that it was too salty. And also what was really interesting Amandine is uh, uh, when we realized that the children had uh, uh, the test buds all over the palate and they could, some discovered that bitterness was at the back of the tongue, some on the front of the tongue and it's very interesting to have uh, the different uh, taste of the children. Is it, uh, is it broccoli? No, I don't know why would say that, I'm going to show it to you. I'm being a bit mean really. Good, but it's what we call, if you look at the shape of it, it's what we call a globe artichoke. As a chef, obviously, I'm not used to spend a lot of time talking to children like that in school, but I think it's really interesting to see how interested they are in trying new things. So it's pretty positive for the future. This is so cool. Very good. We think so. We are becoming increasingly aware of public health issues such as obesity and allergies and I think we are all concerned to help our children find their way to a healthy future. Adopt a school takes practical steps to do this and we hope the publicity around this special week will encourage more chefs and schools to take part. Thank you.